Tonight's story is Max and the Flying Bicycle. Please like this video if you enjoy. Max, the nine-year-old inventor with a mind full of wild ideas, had done it again. In his cluttered backyard workshop, surrounded by gears, springs, and a pile of spare parts, Max had built something truly incredible. A flying bicycle with wings that flapped like a bird's and a spinning propeller at the front, the bike was a marvel of Max's creativity. He tightened the last bolt, hopped onto the seat, and with a deep breath, pedaled into the sky. As the bike lifted off the ground, Max soared above the trees, the rooftops, and even his favorite park. The wind whipped through his hair as he flew higher and faster, grinning ear to ear. He swooped and swirled, practicing loops and barrel rolls, his heart racing with excitement. He zipped past the neighbor's house, careful not to crash into Mrs. Jenkins' laundry that was flapping on the clothesline. But just as Max was perfecting his aerial tricks, a strange shadow passed overhead. Max squinted up into the sky, and to his surprise, he saw an enormous airship hovering above him. The ship was creaky and crooked, with giant sails that looked like they hadn't been washed in years. A tattered pirate flag flapped at the top of the mast, and leaning over the edge of the ship was a group of sky pirates. At the head of the crew stood the infamous, bumbling Captain Storm. With a pirate hat too big for her head and a parrot perched on her shoulder, she pointed her hook hand at Max's flying bicycle. Her eyes lit up with excitement. That flying bike's mine, Captain Storm yelled, her voice booming through the sky. But as she shook her hook in the air, her parrot squawked and tumbled off her shoulder, flapping its wings furiously to get back. Max knew he was in for trouble, but he wasn't about to let anyone take his invention. You'll have to catch me first, he shouted back, pedaling as fast as he could. His bicycle zoomed ahead, the wings flapping faster, while the pirates scrambled to follow. Captain Storm barked orders at her crew, but they were more interested in their snacks than chasing after Max. Still, they managed to steer their ship toward him, launching nets and ropes in an attempt to snatch the bike. Max ducked and weaved, dodging their clumsy traps. With a mischievous grin, Max reached into his tool belt and pulled out his latest invention, the silly string cannon. Aiming it at the pirate ship, he fired, and colorful, gooey string exploded all over the deck. The pirates slipped and slid across the ship, tumbling over each other like a pack of clumsy clowns. Ah, you'll pay for this, Captain Storm yelled, trying to shake the silly string off her hat. But Max wasn't done yet. He zoomed back toward the ship, doing sneaky flybys and making the silliest faces at the pirates. Catch me if you can, he teased, sticking out his tongue. The pirates bumbled after him, but Max was too quick. He even set up some hilarious traps along the way, banana peels, marbles, and even old socks. The pirates slipped, tripped, and tumbled over everything, getting more tangled with each step but Captain Storm was determined. We'll get that bike, even if it's the last thing we do, she declared, though her peg leg kept getting stuck in the sticky mess of silly string. Meanwhile, Max had one more trick up his sleeve. He pulled out a kite shaped like a pizza with bright red pepperonis and gooey cheese painted on it. He launched it into the air, and sure enough, the pirates, always hungry, chased after it, thinking it was real. Captain Storm's airship veered off course, heading straight for a giant cloud. Brace yourselves, Captain Storm yelled, but it was too late. 
the ship crashed right into the fluffy white cloud, which she mistook for a giant marshmallow. The ship got stuck, and the pirates were left floating around in the sky, tangled in silly string and pizza kites. Max, laughing to himself, pedaled his flying bicycle through a rainbow, the colors sparkling all around him. He had outwitted the pirates with his goofy gadgets and clever tricks, and his flying bike was safe and sound. As he glided back down to the ground, Max parked his bike in the backyard, proud of his invention and his daring escape. He looked up at the sky, already dreaming of his next big adventure. Maybe a submarine bike next? He could explore the ocean just like he had the skies. With a grin, Max headed back to his workshop, ready for whatever wild idea came next. The End <laughs>